Yes, Young and Rasta spoilers. In the darkness of pain and betrayal, Ashley Abbott's life is gradually sinking into an abyss of negativity. The humiliating betrayal from Tucker while she was lying at her weakest in a hospital bed, not only deep in the wound, but also left a scar that could not be healed. Tucker, with his venomous criticism and declaration that Ashley was out of his usefulness, proved himself to not only be a traitor, but also a heartless person. Meanwhile, Audra, a strong and independent woman, also feels that the toxic environment of Genoa City is no longer a place she wants to be. Deciding to leave and start a new life, away from the chaos and pressure was a bold but necessary step for her. Abby Newman, faced with upheaval and the suffering in her family, finds it impossible to sit still and watch everything continue. She decided to take action, a strong decision from a woman determined not to let her family's pain go without compensation. Abby, with courage and determination, went to meet Audra and Tucker, carrying a clear message. Shut up and realize your stupidity and punishable acting. She is not afraid of challenges or threats, displaying a deep strength and determination. Tucker never wants to back down from a confrontation, challenge Abby, and belittle her and her mother as fools. However, this only strengthened Abby's resolve, making her even more determined to protect her family and prove that true stupidity lies on the side of Tucker and his followers. The confrontation between Abby and Tucker is not only a personal battle, but also a symbol of the struggle between morality and power, between family love and personal selfishness. Abby, in her resilience and love of family, is ready to face any challenge despite all risk, to protect her loved ones and bring justice. In the turbulent and conflict-filled context of Genoa City, Abby's actions are like a bright fire in the dark night, lighting up hope and strength for those. Ashley tells Abby, don't stop, don't deal with these bastards anymore. Abby wants Devin's help or she will turn to Jack and the people who love her. Will Jack and Tracy help? Ashley truly loves Tucker and she wants him to have a happy life with him forever. That would never happen to Tucker. Everyone understands what a bastard he is. But Ashley herself did not accept that. She always held on to hope. What kind of fight will Abby and Tucker have?